All right, I want to thank you all for tuning in the video today. Today we're going to talk about the difference between 355 versus the 331 axle ratio. I've actually had both on, on, on my Ford trucks, and I pulled with both. I had a 250 and a 350. Um, you know, actually the 350 I have right now does have the 355s. Um, I didn't even know it did. I just crawled under there and looked. There's two places you can look on your truck. I'll show you in just a minute so you can see if you have which actual ratio. Now, what I will say is with the 10-speed transmission, you the difference in those two gears is minimal. I mean, it's not like you're going from a 331 to a 456, okay? The 355 is gonna give you a little bit more, which you notice on the trimmers with 35 inch tires, they come with the 355, right? Um, as of now, for the 23, 24 ordering banks for Fords, if you get the FX4 package, that's what this truck is. As you can see, you cannot get the FX4 with 331s. If you want to get the 355, you have to drop the FX4. I like the electronic locker in the FX4, so I'm gonna go for the 331 on my 24 order, okay? Which has already been placed. Now, that being said, I just ran a thousand miles on this truck with the 355s, and you can see I'm running 37s. And basically went from Texas to Florida, and guys, it really, in 10th gear it pretty much would grunt through anything and that's with the standard output which is the older engine okay the new high output engine i think with the 331s and that high output with 500 horse and 1200 torque it's not going to make a difference right um very minimal difference between the two um i will say that this 355 on this 22 model with the older version engine pulled great i mean i saw eighth gear maybe three times on that whole trip and that's going up steep inclines you know for the big overpasses over the water stuff like that so um really you know even if i had the 331s in this with the horsepower it has if it would have dropped down to seventh gear it probably wouldn't have bothered me that much i might have even just taken 10th gear out um, of the loop so you know i don't think it's that detrimental um, i've had both vehicles i pull a 45 foot toy hauler and i've got a bunch of utility trailers i pull it's not that big of a difference guys um especially with a 10 speed so i wouldn't get that heart broke over it go after the truck you really want um you know i'll show you basically what my mileage is you know i will say that if you're going to go with the 331s especially if you're not going to run oversized tires i mean unless you're pulling something that's 25 you know let's say 20 to 25 thousand pounds i really would probably go with the 331 if you're pushing that 20 to 25 thousand Maybe step up to that 355 on stock tires. Um, you know, these three, these 37s are knocking me down big time on my on my ratio. So I think that the 355s would probably be a little too steep for me on stock tires. Um, I'd rather get a little bit better fuel mileage. But let me show you. Basically, pulling about 17,000 pounds. That was pulling my toy hauler with the golf cart, everything in it. Let me put this on trip one for you. Um, you know, and that's running 70 to 75, 65, just depending on where we were. You can see right there for the last 987 miles pulling the trailer, we averaged 7.9 and that was over a 24 hour period. So with that being said, let's get under this truck and show you how you can identify these axles. Sorry, let me fold my deal up here okay so on your front axle right here if you look on this tag you'll see the date right here the manufacturer date and you can see the 355 right here on the front axle we'll crawl around to the back axle they're gonna match of course but just want to show in case you're missing a tag on one of them you'll be able to find it like I said this is a 355 FX4 which you cannot order anymore for the 23 and 24 models. Okay, where are you gonna find it on the tag on the back axle? Right here, below the exhaust pipe. Same tag, you see that ELD, 355 right there. Again, I pulled pretty flat ground. You know, if you're pulling up in the mountains and stuff, and you're pushing the top end of that 20,000. 
I'd say go with the 355s. You can still get, if you order it, you can still get like a Platinum or Limited King Ranch Lariat and the F350 with the 4x4, not the FX4, and you can get the 355 still. So, anyway, just want to do a quick video on it, kind of tell you my thoughts. Pulls great. I don't think it's that big of a difference, but depends if you're in the hills, you're up north, maybe you want to do that. You know, flat land, you're running 37s, you know, stock tires, all those things you got to take into consideration. But appreciate you tuning in the video today. If it helped you any, please hit that like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.